What's up, my people? It's your boy Black Hole Gaming, and I'm back with another video. And this is another code redemption process. A lot of beta this year. A lot of beta. Um, my last one was the Destiny 2 beta redeem code. Um, this one is for Call of Duty World War II, um, which was revealed Wednesday. Uh, yeah, last Wednesday, the 20. No. The what day was that? Uh, yeah, the twenty sixth. Um, so this video is on how to redeem your code because I know people are very uh, they they don't pay attention to their code or whatever I don't know or they throw it out or something. Um, I was told by a GameStop employee if you did throw out your first receipt which had your code on it. Um, by accident, you can go back to the store and just say, look, I pre-ordered this game, you can check it up in the system, and can you please print me another beta code. Um, not that hard, pretty simple. Um, and that's all there is to it. Then you just go home and you can follow these two videos, or, uh, or th this video, or the Destiny one, depending on which game you're pre-ordering, and, uh, Hopefully you'll be able to get your code and get your beta. Um, another thing is, is what I really hate about people is they're like, oh, don't pre-order the game, uh, only for the beta. Look, it's five dollars. You put five dollars down. Then all you do is you use the code. You go back to the store, and what do you do? You uh, cancel the pre-order, get your five dollars back. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Just don't use debit card, because then they'll make you um, use it as credit in the store. At least for game stuff. I don't know about the other stores. But um, just use cash, and you get your $5 back. Not that hard. Pretty easy. And if you really want to do something that's really, really easy, um, if you have a debit card or credit card, just go on Amazon, pre-order the game. They'll send you an email within a day with the, um, with the, uh, with the beta code. You do the same thing. You enter it in. I don't know if they give you a PlayStation Network or an Xbox Live code, depending on which platform you pre-order for, but I'm pretty sure they give you a code to go enter on Bungie.net or CallofDuty.com, um, and all you have to do is just cancel the pre-order after that. I mean, it's really not that hard. Um, and once you and that you don't even have to put any money down. You just put your credit card or debit card in, and that's it. It doesn't cost anything until the game comes out technically so you, you don't get charged until the game comes out so all you do is you just get the beta code enter it and then after you enter it just cancel the pre-order not that hard you don't get charged anything at all you don't even lose any money so i don't know why people complain about oh pre-order 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 don't do this don't do this it's freaking stupid look if people want to pre-order a game let them pre-order a game okay Pre-ordering to me basically just means like, look, if it's a big game that comes out, all right, because it happens sometimes. They'll run out of copies, and you can't get you can't get it. That's what pre-ordering is good for. It means that you have a copy on reserve there, so that if anything happens, like if, it, if there's a shortage and there's not enough copies, you'll have one no matter what. You walk in, you'll have one. All right. Whereas, if you walk in that day and you want to pick up a game that's very popular and it's all sold out, oh, too bad. You didn't pre-order. If you pre-order, you're paying the same price as everybody else anyway. So, I mean, there's really no point to pre-ordering or not. I mean, yeah, it's a way for them to figure out sales figures and whatever for for games and whatever. But who cares? Just because you pre-order doesn't mean you're hurting the industry. It just means you want to have a copy of the game in case you really want it. And you can always cancel that pre-order at any time. So I don't know why people get so angry at other people for pre-ordering. It's kind of dumb. Anyway. Um, anyway, so onto the video. We're going to open the internet here. I'm going to go. I know I use Safari. Kind of stupid, right? Anyway, so. Alright. Is this one the Call of Duty one? No, this is the Destiny one. And by the way, um, GameStop does have exclusive um, pre-order whatever is 
rights or what I don't know to the premium uh, the pro edition I don't know what they're calling it the pro edition which basically you get a steel book um, with artwork on it um, you get the season pass and you get um, access to the private beta and other extra content in the game and uh, I think that's all that comes with that edition it's just like the infinite warfare um, pro legacy edition you just get the season pass the two games and some extra content that's it in the beta i mean it's not that much but you know what for 100 bucks that's that's a good deal and you know what you know what's even funnier when you think about it this game is actually cheaper than any other middle edition um or i guess like secondary edition other than the standard i mean look at it the base game is 60 dollars right Fifty nine ninety nine plus tax, depending on where you, what state you're in, or where you live, um, you know. And then the season pass is probably going to be fifty dollars, like it always is. So usually, if you buy it separately, that's ten dollars. That's a ten dollar difference right there. That's already a hundred ten dollars, close to, or just add a hundred ten dollars, and then you have to add the tax. Um, so that you know brings it up just a little bit more. So probably like you know one twelve. 113 around there so when you think about it you're getting a deal for this game at least you're paying ten dollars less for both together so and you get a steelbook with it so you think about it i mean i know steelbooks don't really cost that much but you know they in terms of in terms of uh limitedness and like coolness yeah they're awesome and they cost a little bit more because the artwork is different and they use different materials and all that stuff. Anyway, so you're getting a deal with this Call of Duty game for once at least. You're paying $10 less if you buy the Pro Edition rather than buy both the Season Pass and the game separately. I mean, yeah, people don't really care for Call of Duty that much anymore. I mean, but you know what? Who cares? I bought it. I'm going to unbox it, whatever. I'll show you guys some gameplay when it comes out. And all that good stuff. I'll record the beta so you guys have a chance to see what it will be like. And hopefully the game actually turns out better than what people are thinking it might turn out as. Um, hopefully people are excited to go back to Call of Duty's roots. Um, so let's, without further ado, get into this. So on the receipt, um, at least this is for games. I don't know if it's true about any other place. Usually receipts are printed the same, mostly the same way at any place. Um, so it says, thank you for reserving Call of Duty World War II. Code to unlock the access beta code is below. To redeem, go to www.callofduty.com slash beta. Press enter. Let it load. Da -da -da, come on. Gonna take forever, huh? All right, so private beta, blah blah blah, and I have PS4. Just so you know, private beta is first on PlayStation 4. Um, so if you want to play the beta first, I suggest you pre-order PlayStation 4. If not, if you don't mind waiting, pre-order on Xbox by all means. It's your choice. I'm not gonna tell you which one to pre-order on, but if you want to get it early. Choose PS4, and at least make sure you have a PS4 um, before you do that, because then that would kind of be stupid. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter who gets stuff first. I mean, yeah, PlayStation will get all the content 30 days early again, but, you know, that's why I bought both systems, so that I have a choice of what I want to play when I want to play. Um, yeah. So anyway, back to the redeeming. Anyway. Did I pre-order for PS4? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think I think this will just make you um. What do you call it? Um. Yeah, it'll make you choose one anyway. So, I log into my PlayStation account because that's the one I use mostly for Call of Duty. I even though I linked my Xbox and whatever. Oh good, it already logged me in. I didn't even have to do anything. Thank God. <laughs> Does it go to my profile? No, I'm not going to do that. So you enter in the code. Pretty easy. 
Doesn't matter if I tell you the code because I'm using it right now. 8VG5. Um, J8. WB5. BVWH. BVWH. You select the platform anyway, even though your account you log into the one that you had. Kind of dumb. Select your country and all these countries and whatever. Okay, now it's lagging me out. Oh, you know it's not. I'm already at the top of the list. Okay, United States. Let me just make sure that's the right code. Eight V G five. J eight W B five. Yep. B V W H. Yep. Okay. Submit. Okay, and success. You've secured your spot in the Call of Duty World War II Private Beta. You'll receive a follow-up email to your Call of Duty account email with your beta token closer to the Private Beta. So, yeah. Um, to stay up to date, you just follow them on Twitter or Facebook, and, you know, they'll announce stuff on there when the beta is coming out. And, obviously, the game releases on November 3rd, 2017, which I believe is a Friday... I'm pretty sure it's a Friday. Let's open up the calendar. Year. November 3rd is a Friday. Okay. So for all you school kids, lucky you. Well, maybe not because Thursday is uh, Thursday night midnight is the day to do that but usually some schools have their parent teacher conferences around that time and the kids have half days that day on Friday so you'll be able to pick up the game early or if your parents are nice enough you'll be able to go to the store and pick it up midnight on Thursday night it's kind of funny because uh, I think it was like two years was it Black Ops 3 yeah it was for Black Ops 3 and I really wanted the collector's edition for that but I didn't get to get it so I got the hardened edition because I still wanted the steel book uh, but I really wanted that freaking mini fridge. That thing looked dope. Um, I went to GameStop, and there was about, like, maybe 70 people waiting in line to get it. I mean, like, le legit at midnight. Like, people were waiting in line to get it. So, and it wasn't just adults like me. It was, it, 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 there was more adults than kids, but there were kids there with their parents to pick up the game at midnight, which I thought was hilarious. But, um... I'm like, really? You're letting your kid play this game? I mean, well, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more fun. But, you know, Black Ops 3, out of all the futuristic games like Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3 was probably the most grittiest game. It was probably the most darkest game out of those three. Um, I mean, yeah, the stories were great. And all three of those games, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare, they were pretty decent stories. Black Ops 3 was a was a really good story i like that story the only thing is is i didn't like how the story was built how it was made uh which kind of you know kind of hindered it for me with all the extra challenges and all that stuff which means i'll never probably get the platinum for that game i need to go back on zombies and do the extra trophies for that but then i can just do the rest of it by myself um same with infinite warfare i just need to do the zombies trophies for the single player for the um Zombies in Space Land, but I haven't found anybody that wants to do the Easter egg for that. Um, plus, those freaking brute bitches are annoying. Anyway, and I also need to go back on Advanced Warfare and finish up the... Because um, I did the whole campaign, I think I beat it on um, the hardest difficulty and all that. Yeah, but Black Ops 3 is a difficult ass. Difficult gets. I mean, I, didn't even, I started playing on Realistic... And I, I'm just sitting in corners letting my teammates go in front of me to kill everybody. Because it, it's too much. You you pop your head out, you're dead. Pop your head out, you're dead. It's so bad. I hate the realistic mode. I mean, yeah, it's cool. But it's like, even on like, I think medium, I think I played. Or I, I don't remember what the name of the the uh, difficulty was. But I think it's like the second difficulty. It's the one before hard, and I think... Yeah. Oh my god, those robots in that one mission when you're um going in like the uh when you're killing the dude in the machine thing. Oh my god, those robots are freaking ridiculous. Like when you're leaving when the whole place gets flooded. 
holy shit, man. Those robots come at you and you're almost like no ammo left. Like the time in between that and him telling you to come open the door to help open the door. Holy shit, man. Those robots are fucking ruthless. Ruthless. Like, like they just come out of nowhere. It scared the shit out of me. Those robots scared the shit out of me every time I play that game. That's the only reason I hate Black Ops 3. The... The, the missions in that game are so difficult. It's ridiculous. It seems like Treyarch is like the one that really wants to make difficult games. Like they they just make difficult games. World at War was difficult with the all the grenades and the flamethrower and the snipers and whatever. Like the, oh my god, that game was difficult on Veteran. That was a hard game. I don't think I played through the whole thing on Veteran because I was like pretty young at that time. That was like. 10 years ago, or 7 years ago, six, yeah, 7 years ago, so I was like 13, 12, yeah, that, that game was so difficult, but, um, what's the other game that they made, um, Black Ops wasn't too bad, Black Ops wasn't too bad, I think I beat that on Veteran, um, Black Ops 2 wasn't too bad on Veteran either, that was a pretty easy game. But Black Ops 3 was, like, right up there with, like, World at War. Like, that that's how difficult it was. It, it was freaking difficult. The grenade spam wasn't as bad, but it was still difficult. Anyway, sorry about that tangent. Um, I'm starting to turn into one of those, like, clickbaiter people. But, <laughs> anyway, um, at least I'm saying exactly what I'm doing in the video, and I'm actually doing it, rather than being one of those people who speculate shit and uses the title to clickbait saying oh what we know about fucking multiplayer and shit like come on man you don't know jack shit yet they just revealed the game the only thing we know about multiplayer is how the creative class is gonna work kind of and we uh know about the headquarters thing which is basically like a tower where you can show off all your gear and stuff that you have in the game and whatever that's all we know about world war uh call of duty world war Two. basically that's all we know we know that there's co-op we know that there's nazi zombies we know that the single player has i think co-op in it i think that's what they said um so that that's really all we know i mean it already says it on their main site you could probably find it on here actually um let's see is it in news it's probably in the news actually probably not because this is the community um yeah see there's a trailer if you want me to do a trailer reaction i'll do it i mean i've already seen it but actually i don't need to do one i think it's kind of stupid to do that um yeah I, I don't know where i don't i don't know where the thing is maybe it's in here maybe it's oh hey whoa what the fuck maybe it's on this page let's see um Boots on the ground multiplayer. Cooperative. They got merchandise. You see PlayStation exclusive private beta. So, you know, anyway, you could probably find up the information online on their site somewhere. But yeah, so that's going to be it for me. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to keep it swaggy every day, all day. And uh, see you guys in the next uh, video. Peace.